my friends welcome back to exercise 46 of my 200 3d cad models in FreeCAD series exercise 46 is simple if we understand the technical drawing uh, what they are asking the technical drawing has a little bit of shortcoming where it does not say if these two holes are through holes or they are sitting on this surface. So we will have to make an assumption and then I assume they are through holes. With that, let's start building. I could build the angle and cut things away, but I feel like it will be better, better for me to build the base and wall separately. So I'm going to go ahead and build the base. If I want to build the base, I want to keep my center actually right there yep all right now i want to draw a sketch on xy plane to build the whole thing which is a rectangle basically right these two are corners rounded corners that i can build right now with this constraint preserving sketch fillet i want to keep that point that corner point in there right and these two are radius 30. oh i should have pinned it down here so this height is 120 right brought it back and these two points are symmetric by this axis The distance between this point, remember this point it came from this sketch rectangle. The distance is 100. And what else? We have one degrees of freedom, which is where they stand based on this. I can see this point is 35. This is 30. So the distance between these two centers is 5. Now I want to build this hollow part as well i want to cut that out right now when i'm building this sketch that way i won't have to come back to it now i built the slot that was easier now i'm gonna go ahead and take these parts away and cut it there that actually opened up a lot of things so this is radius 15 right these two obviously will be horizontal and okay, we lost that dimension actually this point and this point will be vertical obviously this is vertical we're still missing something one degrees of freedom which is maybe oh there it is the tangents the tangency is gone okay there we got that fully constrained right and then i mentioned that i will be building this as a through hole so while we are at it let's go ahead and build those so that is a through hole of diameter inner diameter of 12 radius 6. cool we got everything that we needed and go ahead rename the sketch as base and extrude that for a height of 20 we got the base now i want to build the wall the wall will be built on this surface which is so that surface is 65 away from the center right i'm gonna go ahead and build this from on this sketch which is this in this image and which is on yz plane so let me go ahead and take this on yz plane right and build a sketch let's go find that place it from the right and change the location so we can take the best out of this technical drawing
Mm, right. So that's our desired location. And I want to build that wall, right? It was 65 behind the center. So on the YZ plane, offset would be minus 65. Okay, we explained that 65 from here. The center is here. This is the face that we are building on. The distance is minus 65. Right on the money. Okay, I want to build another rectangle from here to there, right? And I want to take this constraint preserving fillet. This distance is 20, it's given here. Let me go ahead and take that, sort it out. These two points will be symmetric by the axis, and that length is 120 right got that let me hide this image for a moment all right maybe i'll bring it back so this radius is 20 so this and this are radius 20 20 I'm going to make this to equal. All right. And finally, the height. Height, we can go with this. This point here, which is from the original sketch when we did the constraint preserving fillet, the point was left out. The height is 100 minus 20, which is 80. All right, we got that part taken care of now talk about the slotted holes i am going to make this one one slot take the radius as six as given right now i want to replicate this take this point as the last one and make clone come to this point one time Maybe do the same. Take this point and clone again there. So the distance between these two is 20, right? And distance between these two is 20. If it was more than three, I would go with lattice and array. But it's simple enough for me to actually go with just copy and paste right so these four will be equal to this and these three points will be on the same plane right these three radius will be the same that constrains everything close maybe the image was making things a little blurry but now you can see that there's a fully constrained sketch what i want to do i want to extrude that for 20. so this is sketch wall and extrude that for 20. we got almost everything this part this is a fillet i want to come to in a, in a moment But let's talk about these two extrusions. This protrusion, they are 10 millimeter high and 16 millimeter in diameter. What I can do, I can take this sketch, right? So this is on the top, remember. So let's go ahead and then draw another sketch on XY. And take these two centers what i want to do i want to build so this will be equal and this is radius 12 and this will be equal all right what i want to do 
this sketch i want to pull that up by 30. now let's bring back that main extrude look at that we have a through hole with two sides uh, tubes poking out and i am going to make that a union it's showing up okay i found out that once i apply fillet i cannot do refining i'm going to go ahead and refine it right now true right then select this and apply fillet 10. how about these two these two are two so what i want to do i want to select these two actually go to the fillet and i want to select this one which is age 18 and I'll make that two and select this which is 19 make that two it okay cool that worked out pretty good i think that's our object take that a little bit back yep that's our object looks like it well i hope you like this process it's a simple one thank you for watching this video i'll see you in exercise 47